there's the Georgia that was, a Georgia that was mired in discrimination and hatred. And that Georgia luckily is, I think, far behind us, but we still have a Georgia today that grapples with some of that discrimination, some of that bigotry. But I'm running to be the governor of a new Georgia, of a Georgia that we all can see in this room, a Georgia that looks like this room. And with your support on May 22nd, I will become the Democratic nominee for that new Georgia. Are you with me? <laughs>So one of the things we know about this cycle is a lot more women like you are running. Why is that? A lot of the policies that have come out of the current administration have been so dangerous to women that there is no opportunity for silence. You have to speak up and you can't hope that someone else is going to do your job for you. And so what we're seeing with the Me Too movement, with Parkland, with Black Lives Matter, that there is an animation of intention that hasn't existed before. Interesting because people see that there are real consequences for not speaking up, but they've also started to see if they take action and demand better, you can get Governor Rick Scott to sign a gun bill in Florida. What do you hear and see when you talk to people about Donald Trump? They are deeply disappointed in his xenophobia, in his racism, in his sexism, in his rejection of the rule of law. Uh, there's a great deal of trepidation. Do you agree with Democrats who believe that the message for the midterm should be all about impeachment? Now, I think the message for the midterm has to be about having the freedom and opportunity to thrive. A lot more folks are really worried about whether they're going to have a job next week or if they're going to get a pay raise. So one of the things that you're doing differently is not going by the standard Democratic playbook, which is often to go after Trump voters that may have been Democratic but went Republican. You've got a different approach. The composition of Georgia is different. Fifteen years ago, Georgia was absolutely a red state. But more people moved in and more people grew up and the diversity of Georgia is unlike any other state in the South. President Obama came within 200,000 votes of winning Georgia. And that was 10 years ago. Yeah. And so we know that they exist. We just haven't given them a reason to come out again. 